So we are getting ready to go for a walk. And we have a little angel in her little stroller. <laughs> Hi, cutie. I almost forgot to show you guys this little hoodie I'm wearing. It's a breastfeeding top. So like you pull this up and then obviously I have a bra on right you now. You tell but people that that's like skin colored. Like, oh my God. It's a skin colored bra. <laughs> but isn't that cool? So you just like pull your bra over and then you can nurse. I thought that was just, this is really cool. You little cutie muffin. My goodness, you're cute. Part of two weeks, this is what my body looks like. We just finished our walk, so I'm getting her out of her little thingy. I know I was telling you guys yesterday I wasn't wearing this binder because it's uncomfortable, but a bunch of you guys were like, oh my gosh, you should definitely wear that. Um, so thanks to you guys, I now feel like I need to wear it. You're so tired. Look how tired she is. Oh. I'm gonna put her in her little thing. So, she loves this thing over the Mamaru. Every time I put her, you guys, in the Mamaru, she cries. Um, we still haven't got the newborn insert in, so hopefully when we get that, she'll, um, Maybe like it when she's older. She loves this little one, so we just sit her in here. And then I know a lot of you guys were saying to like move her head to the side so she doesn't get that flat spot. And then my friend Bree just texted me and was like, you should wear her because it counts as tummy time. So that's awesome. And I definitely want to plan to do that. But um, I don't know how to use my little wrap yet. So I need to watch a video tutorial. Also, first time we sucked her little nose boogers out <laughs> she was like really congested and it she was like making these crazy noises and so thankfully i had a bunch of different um like nose suckers because let me just tell you this does not fit in her nose her little nose hole is too small for this so it won't even go in the nose frida also too big it won't fit um what worked was this awesome little guy it's the little remedies and it was small enough to go into her little nose hole and it took the burgers out perfectly. And then also um, this little guy, Oogie Bear, I think it is. And then we just used a few, like one or two drops of the little remedies um, saline drop spray to like loosen up the little boogies and then sucked them out. She can breathe a lot better now. I, um, filmed a video a while ago with Aaron Williams and um, Tara Henderson and <laughs> we were telling like pregnancy like horror stories or something like that uh, it was for my main channel and Aaron was um, telling us how after she gave birth she like took a mirror and looked down there and she said it looked like a bomb went off and so I've been like traumatized and have not wanted to like look <laughs> down there to see what it looks like um, cause for those of you guys that don't know or didn't watch my labor, uh, like part two, I have, uh, like a third degree tear. So, uh, <laughs> I've just been like really scared to look down there. Um, also, so basically what I'm going to, what I was going to say is I'm going to look down there with you guys today. Obviously I'm going to show you, but you'll see my reaction <laughs> and I'll tell you what it looks like and I'll describe it to you. Um, because I don't know, it's something that like I would want to know. Oh, also as far as like breastfeeding pillows go, my breast friend is like way better in my opinion than the um boppy pillow. I was using the boppy pillow for a while and it just is not supportive and it kept like like slipping out from under me and it just it didn't work very well for me but I think it'll be good for tummy time so obviously I'll use it for that but that my breast it's called my breast friend hello uh is what uh I really like so yeah look how cute she is you were just the cutest little thing 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that reminds me of like the Austin Powers face. Oh my gosh. Hey, this is the cutest. Her little cheeks are so chubby. It like, <laughs> it cracks me up. And her cute little feet. Oh. You getting the hiccups? You always get the hiccups on camera. I'm gonna go look at my cupcake and see what it looks like. Uh, and I'll tell you guys all about it. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we filmed everything. Like, not just the videos that go up on YouTube, but like, uh, they filmed like her coming out of my... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is that funny? No, when you're like, when, cause when you're like, oh, we, you know, we didn't film just the YouTube stuff. We filmed everything. Oh yes, we did. Oh, and poor Travis had to watch it. We filmed everything. <laughs> are you traumatized? I mean, I don't know. You don't think it was like a beautiful... Nothing a few 12 or 12 packs can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you don't think it was like a I've, beautiful I've thing? I've seen a lot of horror movies, basically, oh so... My God. <laughs> some, some... I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm not trying to be so sad. No, but yeah, it's okay. You, when, I think Come when... down here, baby, because you're out of focus. Oh, oh my god, trap, please be careful. Oh my gosh. Okay, you literally just destroyed our couch. I used to be a gymnast <laughs> in my former life. The artist formerly known as the gymnast. She found it interesting and exciting. <laughs> uh, I think that you, it would be more traumatic for you to watch because I think that you were kind of in a blur like you know i was just zone. i was really really tired like i i think that if people didn't know like they would have thought i was on like a lot of drugs <laughs> mm -hmm. um the drugs did not work for me unfortunately i wish they did well you're up you were just in like a zombie state i mean we're all up for yeah. over 24 hours so um, and i was expending so much energy because i was in a lot of pain and just over a long period of time so i was just out of it because i was so overly tired i've never been that tired in my life yeah um i think when you see the the birth like vlog like all like the unedited stuff mm -hmm. i think your exact words and reaction will be like this oh <laughs> my god maybe i should do a reaction video to that i almost think like we can put it i, I want to um call and ask like um my network if i can put that up for over 18 like because i think for like educational purposes you're allowed to put it up if you're over 18 you can watch it um i think i don't know but i would love to be able to put that up and share that because i those are things like i like to watch and i just think it's so amazing that like our bodies do that travis there's there's different guys guys that like think oh my gosh i want to see the baby come out it's the most beautiful thing like so amazing and then there's guys that are like get totally traumatized by it um, no i i was just and i don't know if we talked about some of this or yet or not but i was just worried and for watching like say if you've watched the labor like the labor videos and stuff i'm not that type of person where i see the head and i'm like oh my god i'm so excited oh my god it's like all freaking out and stuff because i'm very different like a very different person there's a million things going on in my head and so step one is like me seeing the head it's like okay good okay let's keep crossing our fingers hopefully the thing is everything is okay and just because she came out i wasn't like oh my god like i'm just she's here because i'm still worried like is she breathing is her heart working okay okay have them check her out like i can't get that excitement because if something you, you were too worried that something was going to go wrong to be able to let yourself be excited and enjoy the Correct. process. Yeah, I had to like wait until I knew everything. Like she was out, they checked her breathing, they checked her heart, mm -hmm. like they got the stuff out of her, you know, lungs. Then I was like, okay, you know, then I was able to breathe easy. So anyways, um, yeah, so I was more concerned because they had her, you pushing for a long time and they saw like her head. And her head was like sticking out halfway out of you for like a while. Really? Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I'm kind of like worried. I mean, I've never been in a delivery room situation. So maybe that's normal. I don't know because it's not what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's my former life. 
<laughs> but so her head's like halfway sticking out and I'm like, oh my God, like, can she breathe? Is she smothering? Like, is her- I feel like this should a, be like in a birth story video. Like this is like a full on birth story video. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, we were talking so, about putting the whole thing up. So anyways, but- Well, yeah, but like yeah. we're gonna do a birth story video. So like I, I'm i gonna do what how I felt and everything. And then I think I wanna do a reaction to my video, but I really wanna see if I can put it out. Like. If, if you guys would want to see, not everybody wants to see that, but like for the people of that do. Of course they would want to see it. Um, let us know down in the comments. And then if someone comments like, yeah, we'd like to see it, just thumbs it up so that I know that it's something that you guys would want to see. Because um, if you don't want to watch it, I don't, I'm not going to post it up. All right, let's go see what my hoo-ha looks like. And the only reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because my little sister was like, can you send me a picture of what you're what down there looks like, I want to see what? what it looks like. Brittany wants to see what it yes. looks like right she's now? Yes, she's so fascinated with like she's the birth stuff. fascinated by it. Yeah, so um, that's the only reason I'm doing it. She's like, you don't have to look at it. She's like, you don't have to look at the picture, just take it and then send it to me. I'm <laughs> How like, do you I know. take a picture and not well, that's look what at I'm, it? I like, know. <laughs> is it in focus? <laughs> Can no. you see everything? I know, so that's why I'm, I'm gonna look and I'm just gonna, I thought I'd make it a video. So, oh. What a cute little yawn. You guys, everything she does is cute to me. You are this so stink. I every day I so tell Travis. Stinking cute. I tell Travis, I'm so in love with her. Like I love her so much. I don't want to leave her side. Yeah. I don't want to like go anywhere without her. I just I, I'm obsessed. Like I love, love, love her so you much. Sure, that's your daughter. I know, but like you, you think that you're gonna love them, but you don't realize like how much of a love. You think you're gonna love her? Like I think I'm gonna love her. Yeah. Well, some people have like, I know people that have had issues after birth, and it's like really sad because they don't want anything to do with their baby. They have like really bad postpartum depression. Yeah. And it's yeah, like that's a that's a thing. I mean, there's. You see that on, uh, I don't know, Lifetime stories or Lifetime movies or something. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to go show uh, them my hoo-ha. I mean, not show them, but I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, You're going to go show yourself your hoo-ha. I'm going to show myself my hoo-ha, <laughs> and then I'm going to tell you guys all about it. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this. Oh, and I'm going to take a picture to send to my sister. You guys probably think we're so weird, but... Uh, my sister is like my best friend, and she obviously was there for the the birth and oh my god I'm so scared to look at this I haven't wanted to look you guys because I feel like psychologically if I see it and it's like looks really bad I'm gonna feel like it hurts more <laughs> do you know what I mean um I don't know if anyone else is like that but if I see something and it looks really bad I'm like oh yeah it hurts way more <laughs> and right now like I'm doing pretty good so I didn't want to look but it's been like two weeks now my due date was yesterday isn't that crazy all right, I'm gonna take this. Oh God, I'm scared. Where am I gonna set you guys up? I put you on a tripod and I have my little mirror here and I'm like really actually scared to do this. I'm like sweating, I'm so nervous to like, maybe it's not a big deal to other people, but like for me, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I, I don't even know what to expect, you know? Like I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I also have my phone so that I can take a picture for my sister. Oh my God, she literally just tried to FaceTime me. I think I'm gonna FaceTime her maybe instead of sending her a picture and just show her <laughs> with my phone. Hey. Hi. Okay, so you're not gonna believe what I'm doing right now. What? I was getting ready to take a picture of my hoo-ha to send to you. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yay, are but, you out? Where's Snow? She's downstairs with Trav. Okay, oh god, here we go. <laughs> don't be scared. Like I don't don't me, don't. For 21 hours. don't okay. Worry. okay. Okay. I don't know if you're able to see or not. Can you see anything? Wait, what do you mean it looks sewn up? Wait, Hold, on. Let me see it again. Hold on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Can yeah. you see? You can't see anything? Oh, you can't? It looks the same. It just looks that it's like, it doesn't look any different. It's not, so I can look at it? It's not that bad? Yeah. Yeah, oh. look at it. Okay, hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking right now, you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, honestly, my vagina looks prettier than it, than it did before. <laughs> I didn't think I would say that. I still have skin tags, which is not cute. Um, how's my butthole? Huh? <laughs> this is like really weird. I feel like I maybe got a, a hemorrhoid. I don't even know what hemorrhoids look like. I, I maybe that is one <laughs> cause from pushing, I didn't have hemorrhoids. I don't think maybe I might've gotten a small tiny one for like not very long while I was pregnant. And then I don't think like. I had any, but pushing that long, I think definitely gave me a hemorrhoid. Maybe that's what I'm seeing on my, coming out of my little bottle. Um, something looks like, I feel like I need more light. Let me grab my flashlight. Hold on. My sister's calling me back. Hey. Hey, I guess it hangs up when I try to answer the other call. Oh, that's okay. I'm like full on, ex I'm full on expecting. It looks fine. It looks fine. <laughs> I did, but I was about to get my flashlight out to get a better look, and then I saw that you were calling. <laughs> you can't see anything. Um, you can see like a little bit, like you can see like where they stitch it up, but it's like just a little line, like you were right. Yeah, there's a line. Yeah. But I think I have a hemorrhoid. Oh, really? I don't, I don't know. know what a hemorrhoid is. It's like a blood vessel, I think, that like comes out of your butt. Yeah. Yeah, sure had one in my day. I need to get these skin tags removed. Oh, can you get them removed? Yeah, are you kidding? I tried to get them removed when I was pregnant and they wouldn't do it because they said it was <laughs> a risk for infection. <laughs> so that's why I had to have Halloween decorations for everybody down here oh during my, gosh, my labor. Oh so funny. Like the funny thing is, is that like, no one talks about this stuff, but it's so normal for people to have like weird bumps and stuff. Yeah, I don't have any weird bumps though. Until now. Well, I know, but I mean, like, people are always, like, so freaked out, but it's like, people get, like, weird stuff all the time. Yeah. Whether it's, like... My vagina looks good. It does, don't you think? Yeah, for pushing a freaking baby out. I know. I can't oh, stop wait, staring wait, at wait, it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Um, so are you, like, happier now? Does it not hurt as bad anymore? Yeah, no. No, it's still a little bit sore, but there was a little place that looks like it's bleeding still. Like, every time I, like, oh, pat okay. dry. So I wanted to get the flashlight to look at that little section, but. Oh, uh, to see if there's something weird there. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. Oh, it looks so much better than I thought it was. I was scared. I was, like, really scared. <laughs> I know, like, it's, I know, but, like, it doesn't look like it. Come on. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. Look at you. He did a good job. Yeah, he did. Even though I felt the whole freaking thing. I know. That was terrible. <laughs> anyway, well, terrible. I just wanted to show you my hoo-ha. Yeah, well, there's no one else that's going to show me, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah, anytime. That's what sisters are for. I'm like, man, like, what would I do without a sister? I wouldn't know. I know. It's, that's one of the reasons, like, I really want to have another baby for snow, but, like, oh, I just don't know if I could go through all that again. Okay, I just got off the phone with my sister. I was on talking to her for a while. Um, so I wanted to take the flashlight and look a little bit closer just because like when I go to the bathroom, this might be a little bit TMI, but when I go to the bathroom, I mean this whole video is, so <laughs> I'm sure you're used to it, but um, there's like certain spots that like bleed a lot and there's one spot in particular that I want to get a closer look at. So I'm turning my flashlight on. <laughs> All right let's take a look whoa I can see my pee hole good lord I've never taken a flashlight down here like this before I mean it doesn't look bad at all in fact it looks like prettier than I remember it <laughs> is that bad I feel like it's so funny because I just feel like people's birth stories and experiences are all so different and that's why I like sharing these things some people might think it's like gross or like I don't know whatever but um I like knowing because like for instance my sister my older sister was like oh my god your first poop is gonna be awful it's gonna be like so painful just be prepared 
my first poop did not hurt at all. I got really lucky, I guess, because a lot of people I know, it hurts them. Um, I think maybe for me it was because I didn't take like narcotics. Um, so, and I was taking like my stool softener regularly. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and then my friend Erin Williams said when she looked down there, it looked like a bomb went off. And like, <laughs> so that's what I was like prepared for. And my vagina looks really pretty, so. <laughs> I guess I just got really lucky in that sense. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this like little fun experience with me, um, me describing what my hoo-ha looks like. There's like a little line, like in between where my butthole is and my vagina, and but it doesn't look like you don't see any stitches. Yeah, it looks totally fine. So other than the fact that it's still bleeding a little bit, and I don't know if the bleeding is coming from where I was stitched up, it probably isn't. It's probably just like the stuff that's still coming out of me. By the way, how long does that happen for? I feel like this is the most unflattering angle that I've had <laughs> this whole time. How long is that stuff supposed to come out of you for? And how, how long until I can start working out again? I'm assuming six weeks because they tell you, uh, like I have an appointment in six weeks to go see my doctor. Okay, well, that was a fun experience. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'm sure my husband wants to know what my downstairs looks like. Are you curious? So, what's the verdict? <laughs> well, it looks really good down there. It looks really good? Yeah, like my vagina's looking pretty. Like, like better she's... than before, not better than. Yeah, better than before. <laughs> better than before? I think she looks prettier than she did before. Well, I have a secret to tell you. What? I gave the doc an extra five bucks Ew. and a couple of stitches. Five dollars? <laughs> That's the best part of the joke. <laughs> Someone's like, can I give him an extra hundred or twenty bucks? Travis is like, five dollars. <laughs> he did me a solid. <laughs> She likes this thing and she likes when I jiggle it's like a car ride. <laughs> Little chubby cheeks. Oh. Mom loves you adorbs, so much. Adorbs, adorbs. She has so much love from us, it's like ridiculous. Yeah. Almost like smothering. She does. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. We know that you guys have so many, like a choice of so many people to watch online and the fact that you guys watch us, we're just really grateful and appreciative, so thank you. Yes. We are sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. We hope to see you in our next video. And you know, we'll be here. Will, Will you? you?